Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Casey, Rockstar Flipper. It's Thursday, and it's Thursday Q&A, live stream, hangout video, whatever you want to call it. A little early. I know, early tonight, guys. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? <clears throat> Laugh out loud. Who disliked? Uh, the trolls, you know. Kristen Harshberger, Broke Game. Darren Eckelman was here. Illini Picker. Everybody's in. Joni's here. Joni was asking why so early. Uh, I'll explain in a minute. Donald Coy's here. What's up, buddy? Huh, not according to the YouTube countdown. Was I late? Like by a minute? I better Barbie's here. What's up? Patrick and Jet, James Motes, everybody. I am early, indeed. Very early tonight. I will tell you guys why. Let's let a few more people roll in, trickle in here. We're up to like 70 viewers, and, uh, and then I'll tell you guys. Lisa Picos, how you doing? Collar and Picker? Colrain Picker. I'm sorry. Kelly McNutt, thank you for those comments I just read. Thank you very much. Thread to toe. Mysterium Lugosi, uh, his birthday, he was sourcing and listing. I work on my birthday every year, so happy birthday, and uh, I feel your pain, and I know it. Di Van Booskirk is here. Jesus, Michelle, uh, Julie McBride. I'm just rolling down some of the people. Joe is here from the Bread Man. What's up, Joe? Joe has a bread route. He also is a reseller. Biscayne Kid, Lisa, uh, Missouri Scratch King, Wayne Wilkerson, who uh, is not too far away. Uh, Deborah Motaz, who lives down the road from me, about 20 minutes as well. Uh, Maria in Miami and Palmetto State Pickers. A lot of you guys here. Tracy, tons of tons and tons of people uh, all the way across to the UK, down under in Australia also, up in Beantown. P. Michael, up in Beantown. P&W Flipper and Jeff. Jeff Morello is from St. Pete. Jeff's an awesome guy. How are you doing down there in St. Pete? St. Pete is where my bins are. So uh, Jeff is local. I can see Jeff down in St. Pete. Reseller Dave that likes the early show. Toodles gets to catch it. Texas. Everybody's here. Welcome, everybody. Uh, the early show. Me and Kate are going to a friend's birthday dinner tonight, uh, right at the time I do my normal live show. We'll be gone at 9 o'clock, so I won't be home. I didn't want you guys to miss the live show. Um, so I'm doing it now. I got about an hour till we're leaving, so we'll hang out until we have to go. I need a few minutes to change and get ready, but I'll hang out with you guys for now. Um, quiz a millionaire in the in the house right there. Uh, give me just a second. So uh, he just put a video up, um, which I don't even know if I can link. Hold on, let me try to find. As a mod, you can probably link it. Pretty cool video today. Um, had lunch with a friend at this crazy place in Lakeland, which is like a half hour from us. Had to pick up my car from the shop, so we went out there. Anyways, I'm going to link you guys. After the live show, um, you can go check this out. Oh, that's the wrong one. It's one of my awesome subscribers right there. Can't screen share. Yeah, he was asking to screen share the video. Can't screen share the video, unfortunately. Uh, well, I think there is a way, but it's not... I'm not set up, not easy, so um, I would I would do it, but there we go. Just emailed you. Johnny Rentis, which place in Lakeland? SNL, SNL. Super good burger place. So anyways, guys, tonight's video, uh, you saw the title. Uh, sorry to get off track there. Um, I was uh was talking to a few people earlier in the in the facebook group which if you guys are not a member of the link is down below um about why sales are so low so bad and we're gonna go over all that and we're gonna go over hopefully some ways to uh to fix it uh i drove a 320 bmw 320 while the car was in the shop they didn't get they don't give rental i8s unfortunately um, four minutes ago and just got notified. Yeah, it seems like notifications are on delay. My mom said the same thing today. I, I went to her house and she said that the notifications were like 15, 20 minutes after I went live. So, uh, yeah. Um, it looks like a lot of people are talking about messaging and emailing me. Um, if you did, uh, I will get to a ton of messages and emails tonight. So don't fret, don't worry. By tomorrow, I'll have you responded to. Um, sales are slow. So there isn't any one reason sales are slow. There's a combination. And uh, yeah, congrats to Daniel who just hit 15,000 for 60 days. Let's go over the reasons. I've got five reasons that I think that sales are really slow right now. And let's touch on those five and we'll try to address them and see if there's ways that you can fix them. A lot of these things you can't fix. So you're going to have to do other things to kind of try to make up for it. Um, 
So reason number one is the obvious state of the country, the political, and we don't get into all that in this chat. We're not going to, but that is a factor. It's just a fact, and it's a factor. Um, the political state, everything that's going on in the country, it makes people nervous. It makes sales nervous. It makes people spending money nervous, and so that obviously trickles down, and it affects us, even the small guys. I'm sure the big eBay and Amazon sellers are having a... Um, a hard time. So a new president, a new politician, uh, you know, all this political stuff, all this unrest on top of the economy still not being great. Um, you know, it's improved, I think, but it's not great. And uh, so that causes slow sales. So that's number one, um, the state of the country. And number two is tax returns have not come out yet. Um, a lot of people have submitted taxes, but no one's getting the money back just yet. Remember, taxes only had to go out by the 31st, which was only like 10 days ago. So a lot of people are just getting their 1099s, they're just submitting it, it takes a week or two to start getting money. We'll start seeing tax return money trickle in in the next couple of weeks, so hopefully that will help um, sales uh, tremendously, I, I hope. Um, a lot of people I know I've heard have get uh, have been getting a lot of money back, so hopefully there'll be some spending. So that's reason number two, the tax return money has not um, come back. Reason number three is it's just that time of year. It's typically, this is slow season right after Christmas. The gift cards were used pretty quickly after, you know, the week after Christmas, two weeks. So we're a month and a half almost after Christmas. So just a slow time of season, number three. There's really nothing um, that you can do about that. And uh, again, we're going to go over some things that you can try to do to try to make up for it in other areas. So number one is the state of the country. Number two is lack of tax returns. Um, number three is it's just that time of year. Um, number four is, and this is kind of speculation, but people think that eBay is changing algorithms, changing their website, the way that the searches come up. Um, there's been some people testing this and they've had some kind of, uh, some results, some luck showing that search results, you know, eBay's kind of messing with things and it's hurting things that we're used to having our search results come up and down are not working the way that they used to work. Now, I'm speculating on that. I don't know for a fact, but there have been some other people who made some videos, some things showing some different, you know, they list an item, they change it, and then they research for it the next day and it's like gone. So that's a possibility. That's number four. That's reason, you know, that could be hurting your search rankings um, and causing you to, to lose out on potential sales, which is a huge thing if eBay is messing with the algorithm um, or anything like that. So uh, that's reason number four. Reason number five is not because the Patriots won the Super Bowl, contrary to popular belief. Reason number five that I think uh, your eBay sales and, and Amazon sales, for that matter, um, are down right now after the other four reasons. Hold on, I'm, I'm going to read a couple. I'll get to number five. I'm going to read a, a couple more of these. Government debt, minimum wage, perfect world, selling similar. Okay, um, so I think the that reason number five is that uh, there's a lot of restrictions and there's a lot of big companies getting on eBay. Remember, Walmart is coming in. Uh, Goodwill's got all these Amazon accounts. I think the big guys are starting to sell. I've seen Best Buy. Just a lot of people selling big uh big accounts and big sellers, they're pushing towards bigger sellers as opposed to smaller sellers. And I think that's really starting to hurt. It's trickling down to us smaller sellers. And uh, I don't know, I know that Amazon is trying to reach for bigger sellers. I don't know so much about eBay, but it's definitely hurting us. Um, I think, you know, uh, all those type of, uh, those guys with like no account and then overnight they have, you know, uh, 50,000 items listed. <sighs> Their search rankings, it's tough to beat those guys, so it's hard to overcome that. So that's probably number five. The the Chinese sellers coming into our marketplace, all these new sellers are definitely uh, hurting sales. There are no no questions about it, no doubt about it. Um, the increase, uh, another reason I can think of is the increase in the USPS, fees, things like that are hurting us. It's making it harder to make money. That's not hurting sales, but it's hurting the bottom line, the profit. So. Um, and then I want to point this out without getting too much flack about it, but I think there's a lot of new sellers in the marketplace. Now, we don't all have the same items. There are a lot of new sellers. A lot of sellers have left, but a lot of sellers have come on, and it's a constant rotation. I don't believe that any one person, me or, or Raken or, or Prof Sales or Dave or anybody else making videos, is causing more sellers to come on. Um, there's always new sellers, always people learning, but remember, most people won't stick with it. So. Um, I don't think that's hurting it too much, a little bit, but um, yeah, it's just a combination of all those things. So um, 
has USPS increased the rates? They did indeed. So, um, yeah, so that's basically like, uh, like the, the reasons that I can see that are hurting sales right now. And it's not any one of those items. It's definitely the combination of all of them hurting you a little bit at, at each time, and they're all bringing down sales. And so, of course, one of those is speculation. I haven't done any testing on the algorithm, but I'm sure that it's possible eBay's messing with it. They're constantly changing their website, so it's possible that that's hurting us right now. Um, so let's go. Oh, Jet MD just said. So a couple of you asked about this super chat. It's something that um, and Jet just did a ten dollar uh, donation. It's something new that YouTube um, implemented, and basically, uh, and it's nothing that I'm promoting or whatever. YouTube just allows this for people with a thousand subscribers and with good channels and good standing. They've now implemented a button down at the bottom of the chat. I guess you guys can click it and donate, and your 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 um, your comment stays up at the top pinned, and anyone can click it and read it, which is pretty cool. Jet, I appreciate that uh, a lot, bud. Ten dollars, you didn't have to do that. Thank you so much, buddy. So that's kind of cool of uh, of YouTube um, to to put that down there and uh, allow people that want to show up at the top of the chat for you know a good amount of time to. Um, to do that, that's awesome. So uh, I, I read about that on somebody's channel the other day, and YouTube uh, um, put that down there. Yeah, so it's a 70-30 split. I, I actually only get 70% of that. P. Michael, new follower, thank you for your help. Thanks, guys, you guys, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much, I appreciate that, guys. P. Michael there with two bucks. Um, yeah, so YouTube's implemented that as a way for us to just, for you guys to say thank you to creators like us. It's pretty cool. Um, I, I donated a few bucks to a guy earlier that I watched, so uh, it's a pretty cool thing to give back. Um, but so let's, uh, Lisa D, love, love, love your videos. The reseller videos hurt the market, same way the storage unit biz was hurt, just a smaller scale. Lisa's right, uh, I, and Joan's right. So let's talk about how we're gonna fix these slow sales on the topics and the subjects of the, uh, of the, um, the reasons why your sales are slow. So the tax returns. That is obviously just time. Give it two or three weeks, tax money is gonna start rolling in and hopefully that's just gonna instantly show you an increase in sales. In the meantime, while you're waiting for the tax return money to come in, list, get your inventory up, get it ready, get it priced correctly, get it perfect, your titles, all that stuff. That way when that money comes in, you're ready, you're prepared, your sales will hopefully go through the roof. And um, hopefully that works out. Uh, Darren Eckelman, I'm not sure on mobile phone where it is. On desktop, it's at the bottom of the chat. Um, sales coming in in late night and overnight is true. I've been getting a lot of late night and overnight. Robin Rogers, thank you so much. I appreciate that as well. Um, I, is everybody else getting a lot of late night, overnight? I, I think the late night, uh, overnight sales are definitely, um, are, are working for me too. I'll go to bed or I'll get in bed at like 11 o'clock with like $300 in sales and by midnight it's at like, 450 it's crazy so um yeah eastern time around midnight between like 11 and 1 in the morning i'm doing like half my sales it's crazy um marinello mania thank you for sticking around with us late night um so basically uh jet jet md 1967 he's been here forever if you guys haven't seen jet md big thank you to him he's been here for a long time um so yeah, late night sales have been a huge thing. So I would say maybe you could start targeting a lot of your listings to do at night. If you've been doing your sourcing during the day and you're listing at night, maybe you could list in the morning and then, or I mean go sourcing in the morning and you know target your listings for a little later at night to target those late night shoppers. Seems to be working, so um, definitely awesome. My, my late night sales are, are through the roof as well, definitely. Um, Second thing you can do is go back, uh, I said it in an earlier video, but make sure your listings are mobile friendly. I think that's probably another reason that uh, sales might be down for you. Um, I just redid my mobile listing friendly last night. If you haven't seen my video on how to edit your videos to mobile friendly, uh, this year is estimated that 70% of all uh, eBay transactions will be uh, purchased using mobile devices. It was like, Somebody might want to correct me, but it was like 52 or 54% last year, and they're saying that it's going to be at least a 10 to 15% um, increase in that. So you're looking at like 64 to, you know, up to 70% of all transactions that are going to occur using a mobile device. So your, your listings need to be mobile friendly. Here's a link to my video on how to make them mobile friendly. Check that out, 
And uh, everybody that said that they changed their listings to mobile friendly, including myself, had an instant increase in sales. That day I had a really good sales day. So it's important guys, use that link and get those listings as mobile friendly. Um, Erica Isaac, thank you so much, I appreciate that. $5 from Erica Isaac for the super chat. Um, I, I didn't even know the super chat was on yet. Um, it was it was enabled in my thing uh, just yesterday. So pretty awesome, Erica's here. Thank you for joining me, Erica, and being here. Uh, but mobile friendly, yeah. If you guys haven't done the mobile friendly, I'll go ahead and paste the link again um, right there for you. Uh, I'll just, I'll, I'll link it every few minutes. That will walk you through um, mobile friendly. Do you need a store to do mobile friendly? No, you can just edit your, um, you can edit your listing in your active listing. Just go to revise and then it will show up uh, on the right hand side down by the item description. Watch my video, you'll see. Uh, it's super quick, super fast video. You can just bl uh, breeze through it and you don't need a store to do it. Mobile friendly will help your, um, your, uh, your sales and your listings come up in the search rankings. Chef Honey, what's up buddy, how you doing? Um, Garage Flips is here. Everybody is in the house. We got uh, 272 watchers. Make sure you guys like this video if it helps you out. A uh, couple of people asking about Super Chat. Again, um, I'll, I'll just touch on it one more time for you guys. Uh, Super Chat is apparently something YouTube just enabled in the last, I don't know, a couple days, week. I'm not sure. I didn't check into it too much. Anyways, for uh, YouTubers with over, I think, 1,000 subscribers and good standing accounts with no like copyrights or anything like that, they put a little button down at the bottom of my chat and uh, I guess you guys can click the uh, the super chat button and donate X amount of what a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, whatever, and uh, it will um, put your comment and you prioritized up at the top, so everybody else gets to see you. It doesn't work for mobile. I don't know. I haven't looked into it. I'll look into it and see about if there's a mobile option. I doubt it. You don't have to, Darren. You don't have to worry about it. I really appreciate it, guys. And those of you that did, it's uh, it's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, the uh, Dave's in there, smash, click, and hit the like button. Definitely do, and definitely check out the video um, afterwards on his channel. Yes, uh, also YouTube is allowing us to live stream from our app once we have 10,000 subscribers, I believe. I, I guess that number is probably accurate. And uh, so I, I'm, of course, over 10,000 subscribers, so I'll be able to mobile uh, live stream with you guys in the future. Not that third-party app that I used that was crap before, the good direct from YouTube app. So hopefully that works good. I'll test it before I do it live on the channel. But um, anyways, so uh, the new smash the, <laughs> smash the super chat button. <laughs> That's funny. Um, we need Karin to do the May West. Yeah, if you guys didn't see the video I did yesterday live with uh, Jason from Prof Sales and uh, Karin, his significant other, um, are they married? They're married, right? Am I... Why do I not know that? I forget everything. Anyway, she did a great Mae West uh, impersonation to say, like this video, smash the like button. It was awesome. Uh, thanks, Jason, for being on the channel, by the way. Really great guy. Super smart guy, Jason. If you guys haven't checked out Prof Sales, um, go check out his channel, too. You can just type in Prof, P-R-O-F, Sales. Super, super smart guy. Way smarter than me. Um, another 24-hour um, stream. I may do a... 24 hour stream way in the future down the road, long time. That was a tough, tough task to conquer, but you guys stuck with me, I appreciate that. Global Voodoo Special, yeah, Global Voodoo Mike is, uh, Mike Franco is awesome. Cool cat, I love Mike. Um, anyways, let's get back to uh, improving sales. So we talked about mobile friendly, we talked about improving that. We talked about getting your inventory up ready for, um, for tax time, don't have a death pile. That way you can, um, you make sure it's all ready when people get the tax money and they can spend it. Also edit the titles, edit your keywords, make sure all that stuff is in order. Um, that way they can find it as well. And then um, you'll be all set. Uh, the next way that you can make money is go through your inventory and make sure everything is listed. Sometimes you will find that you have items that you thought were listed, they're not actually listed. You'll be surprised. I had somebody that only has like 500 active listings found six items that were not up. Um, I went through 1,900 items and found like 15 items that weren't listed. So definitely, definitely um, did that. Uh, Torrance, Reezy Resells is awesome too. Uh, I've checked out quite a bit of Reezy stuff. Reezy's like a bookseller, so if books are something that you're into, um, you would check that out. I don't think Reezy does too much on the clothing or you know this side of things. Uh, he's the book guy. If you're into books, that's the guy to go check out. If you wanna learn books, uh, everybody I've heard from has said, that he definitely knows his books inside and out. So uh, 
you can go check that out. I don't know if he's in the chat. I don't, but um, definitely. Amazon seller, common to find you have unlisted items. Absolutely, positively a fact. I can't tell you how often, and it's no fault of anybody's that you have items that are unlisted. It just happens when you start getting a lot of hundreds of pieces of inventory. You'll find that you forgot to list one, you thought you listed it, it ended and you didn't relist it or sell similar. Um, you'll find those kind of things happen all the time. So uh, yeah, Reezy's also the shoe guy. Uh, Prof Sales store name, I don't know his, uh, I have Prof Sales eBay store name somewhere, but I don't give it out without permission. I don't know if he's given me permission to, um, to give it out, so I have to look. Why does eBay not make our listings automatically mobile friendly? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know why they don't, and they really should, um, for sure, so. Yeah, my graphic guy is kind of slacking. Somebody asked about the t-shirts, I promised this week. He is slacking. Uh, Dave, remind me, Dave's in the chat, remind me to get with Ronnie tomorrow for the t-shirts. We need to get shirts ready. I want one for myself, I've been waiting. And I might do a dry fit, I'm not sure, we'll see. But uh, remind me so I can get these out. A couple of people have been asking. So, uh, Craigslist Hunter, I need to talk to Pete. I need to get, Pete has never been on my channel. If anyone's ever been on Craigslist Hunter's channel, he's never been on my channel. Um, somebody can comment on his, but uh, yeah. Jones says tax refunds are delayed a little bit because of reduction in fraud. It's possible. I heard a lot of people waiting a lot, so. Missouri Scratch King just asked a very good question. If you post your eBay listings through mobile friendly, are they automatically mobile friendly? The answer is no. They are not automatically mobile friendly. We post all of our listings on phones or iPads and many of them were not mobile friendly. So uh, definitely check your mobile friendliness. Watch that video and make sure they're mobile friendly. There's a link to it one more time. Destiny, I am gonna be hitting, I had to get my car back today, so today was not a good day for the Orlando Benz. I'm gonna be going to the Orlando Benz like twice next week. So Destiny, you and I are gonna do a source together. I'll get you on some video. We'll have Destiny on the video um, for sure. Broke Game Review says, all my listings are automatically mobile friendly when I list them. I'm not sure why others don't have the same thing. Broke Game, uh, is there something you're doing to make it that way? Because a lot of mine were not, um, were not mobile friendly. Yeah, Nicole did some bags, I think. I don't think she had a, a thing. Yeah, you can watch Prof's listings, but uh, you can probably comment on Prof Sales channel, and if he wants you to see stuff, he'll, he'll tell you what it is. He's a nice guy. Darren, <laughs> so do it proper and use a laptop or desktop. I would like to know how they are doing that. How they're doing what? Illini, I missed that. Um, Casey's a rock star OFC, he did shirts. Yeah, I, I've had the shirts in production for like two weeks, three weeks, and my guy's slacking, so I'm gonna go lay the hammer on him tomorrow. St. Pete Benz, uh, let me figure that out. You can send me a Facebook message and I'll respond when I'm going to the St. Pete Benz. Um, can you adjust mobile friendly from phone or only via desktop? I believe it's only desktop, Chef Honey. You can only do it. You can, Metal makes me crazy. If you watch my video, you can bulk edit the HTML for mobile friendly editing all at once. You can bulk edit your mobile friendly listings, absolutely. I think, yeah, there might be a way if you're using HTML directly that your, your listings are mobile friendly. I think everybody does standard. Some of you do HTML, but if you're doing HTML, that might make it right off the bat. So that might be the answer. We'll see. Uh, Darren, the shirts are going to be awesome. They're going to uh, be rock star uh, flipper shirts. You'll see them. You'll see the logo. I came up with one. It's one we all came up with here. We, we took some people's into consideration, but we ended up settling on one that we had. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some giveaways. Once we have the shirts, I'm going to do giveaways to give away some shirts to some awesome people. So um, Corinne, Marie, this, the bin south of me in Sarasota, Bradenton, I have gone to like twice. They were terrible. I haven't been back. Uh, the other bins in St. Peter are a little south of me. I go to those all the time. No, you don't bulk edit your item description to support mobile friendly. You'll go to your bulk editor description and then select the HTML box and paste it in there and then save it and then that will change all of them. 
Don't add the mobile friendly to the main one. Select the HTML. It's in the, yeah, exactly. Diana sells on eBay. It's in the HTML section. Do I have one person that keeps track of ended listings, Jet? Yes, that is me. I look at the unsolds every morning and I, uh, I check why they didn't sell, were they overpriced, uh, was there bad titles. If items end, I want to know why they ended and then I will uh, edit them and then sell similar to put them back up. If you add the mobile friendly code twice, I don't think it'll do anything. Michelle, are there bins in Miami? There are, but I heard that it wasn't so good. Destiny, you're welcome, of course. Large Bargains made it to a live show. Welcome in, bud. How you doing? Oh, do I have a suggestion for efficiently finding unlisted inventory in my stock? No, I don't. We just go through the shelves. We plan like one day a month to do it. We don't do it every week, but we do it like once a month. You can definitely have people look at your listings on their phone and uh, and see if it looks mobile friendly. You'll be able to tell when you when you open it. Kim, Kim is going to have uh, – I'm sorry I didn't get to your message, Kim. I apologize. But uh, you'll wear a shirt to the bins. I'm going to give away shirts. I'm going to give away quite a few of them, so for sure. Felix, best way to put listings on vacation without a store? Uh, you could change – depends on how long you're going to be gone. I know Megan put her um, – her store to like three or four day handling when she left over a weekend. That way she didn't have to ship until Monday when she was back. I saw that she did that in a video or put it up one time. So that's, a, that's something you can do. I should drop some Rockstar Flipper shirts at the Goodwill and then subs can source for them. <laughs> like kind of just sprinkle them around like sprinkle. Yeah, I guess I could do that. <laughs> Tampa does have the deep bins, Corinne. Yes, the large ones. BGR, that's genius. <laughs> I, I can't go donating my own shirts to the Goodwill and then so, some people that don't even know who I am will buy it. That's funny. <laughs> Picking for profit, what's up? He's in the house. Do you sell games with the PLA label on it? Do they sell? Uh, no, all my games are just standard. Most, some of them don't even have the original barcode on them. How many listings do I get a month? Do I get posted? Uh, a lot. We do anywhere from, I mean, on an average day, 50, 20, you know, 25 days a week. You're talking about 12, 1,400 listings um, a month. Corinne, I'm going to, I'll tell you what, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I will update the mornings that I go to the bins every day that I go to the bins. Jacqueline joined the Facebook group. Thank you. The Facebook group is awesome. If you guys are not a part of it, there's so many good people in there, so many great questions. And I'm a troll sniper in there as well. We have removed so many trolls that tried to get in, and it is just a group of all really good people in that Facebook group. Uh, the link's down below if you haven't done it. It's completely free to join. You just join in. I'll approve you, and you can check it out. Rakin is in the house. Profits. Profit, profit, profit. Um, what is up? If you guys didn't check that video out last night, be sure to go check out that one. Uh, it's not on Steve's channel. It's on Chris's channel, Bonafide Hustler. If you didn't uh, check that out, you can definitely do that. Got a lot of people picking profit. Jet, Steve, Dave, everybody's in the, uh, in the chat. I am having a wonderful night. Everybody's here. A little early on my live chat tonight. I hope I didn't interrupt anybody else. I hope nobody else was live. Oh. Amanda Lerma just joined my Facebook group and says it's awesome. It is a lot of helpful people. Steve will enjoy our vi enjoy the video from today on, on Dave's channel. A gumball machine Robert bought. So let us know when you're in Orlando. Hopefully Tuesday. I'm a new subscriber and supporter. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna let uh, I'm gonna let uh, I'm gonna let everybody know on Instagram and Facebook the mornings that I go to the bins. I'll post it as early as possible or the night before, and then you guys, if you want to meet me out there, just come hang out, get lunch, you know. Rakin got snowed in today. Rakin's up in Connecticut, so uh, he's in, like, the, the cold north area. No bueno up there. See, man, that's why I can't do that because uh, getting snowed in would put a cramp on my sourcing, cramp on everything. That would just cause problems for me. Woo. Kim, your husband's addicted to, uh, to games. That's awesome. Pickens doing a road trip from where Ohio to New Mexico. That should make some good videos. 
Ooh, one foot of snow up north. No good. Uh, XAXA LLC. How often does eBay send coupons for shipping materials? Once per quarter. Once per quarters. Large bargains. I don't sell a lot of PC games asking, do I sell PC games? A few here and there. I can find some good ones. I just got to look them up. They're tougher to sell. 22,000 people show up for lunch. I am not buying. Just a disclosure, full disclosure. <laughs> Farmington, Louisiana, don't snow. Three foot. A lot of you guys got snow today. A line eye picker uh, said something. I didn't see what he said. Oh, two best channels on YouTube. Thank you, line eye picker. Appreciate that. Shorts and t-shirts in Florida every day. <laughs> Picking. Uh, he's asking Steve, what hotel app did you use? We did have a free lunch today. A very good friend got us lunch today, so I appreciate that. Thank you, Larry. If you ever watch our. Uh, my channel. I don't think you do, but thanks for the lunch. It's super good. Yeah, a lot of you guys um, are uh, are way up north in the snow, so I feel sorry for you if you don't have yard sales and shorts and t-shirts and picking all year long. It's tough. Um, it was what was what was the temperature today? Let's let's check out my handy dandy app. I think it was like seventy five or eighty today. Give me a second. I'm just gonna check out the weather for you guys. Uh, it is currently seventy two degrees at six thirty at night, so it's probably like seventy five today. The feed is moving very, very fast. Um, Madden, Madden 12 for PS2. Yeah, some of the sports games are okay, but not many. Snow day is a day off. <laughs> it never slows down, Steve. Yeah, the, the chat goes pretty fast. So uh, you guys are definitely uh, engaged, and I appreciate that. I love when you guys have lots of questions. Um, we can talk about anything you want. Sales, we can talk about sourcing. We can talk about the weather. We could talk about the crazy things that you guys did or that you're going to do this weekend, but don't do crazy stuff. I just like hanging out with you guys and, uh, yeah. Picking for profits. My hair looks good, Buzz. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'll tell you what. It feels good every morning. You don't got to do anything to it. It's awesome. I love it. All because you guys raised so much money for, uh, for Sarah's charity. Uh, you can check back on her Facebook page. She's done such good stuff with that money. She's, uh, she's adopted in the last – like two or three weeks, she's saved, I don't even know, dozens and dozens of dogs. So it's awesome. Our Yelp sales are good when they have them. People dump expensive things. They do not care. Yeah. Ontario, somebody north of the border. What scale do I rec recommend? Accutech scale. There's a link to a really good scale down in my description box. It's less than 20 bucks. Hustle and Grow, how you doing? MJ Electronics is in New York. He's up there by Rakin. If you hate selling clothes, should you still sell them? Um, you should definitely sell what you like selling, what you know about, what you enjoy selling. If you're trying to sell something that you hate, it's not going to make it easy. Um, if it's good profit, do it, but do what you know. Do what you enjoy. I, I, I firmly believe that you can't work on something that you hate. So... Florida weather said like 40, 50 tomorrow. Whew. Picking for profit, turning your eBay on vacation. Um, let me just send you a link. Uh, Picking profit on it. I have a link to the eBay vacation mode. I, it's in my bookmark somewhere. Give me just a second. Um, it, you have to have a store to do vacation mode. So here's the link to how to do it, and then you'll just click on the actual link. There you go, picking for profit. That link will take you directly to putting your store on, um, on vacation mode. I don't buy every game that's 99 cents. Somebody asked, do I buy any video game for 99 cents? But most of them I will. Definitely will. Garage flips. I can't bring myself to sell clothing. I feel guilty about it. What's there to feel guilty about? Illini Picker. Uh, I appreciate it as well. I appreciate you guys. I genuinely like making these videos. I love YouTube. I love everything about it. I've learned so much about it. I'm into the video making thing. So it was kind of just a natural hobby. Like I said, do something that you like. Don't do something you hate. If I hated sitting down in front of this camera or these videos and making these, like if I genuinely hated it, which there are things that I hate, I would not sit here and do this. I actually like coming here and doing it. And I appreciate everybody that supports me and sits down and watches. You guys are awesome. And that's the reason that I do it. No vacation must sell. <laughs> That's true. No problem picking for profit. No problem. Silver jewelry and jewelry. A couple people asked about my opinions on selling jewelry. I've never really sold jewelry except watches. I flip a lot of watches. Like this is a Belova watch. I'll try to zoom up on it for you guys. 
it's a brand that I know a lot about. I have a few of them. And uh, like this watch was probably four or 500 bucks brand new, maybe six. I don't know. It was a lot. And uh, you could pick this up somewhere. Like pawn shops are a great place. This would be something that a pawn shop would have for 99 and I might be able to put on eBay for like one ninety nine. So it, you know, this is my personal watch. I wouldn't sell this, but uh, those kind of flips are things that I'll do. The the Burberry watch that I got, I kept. I intended to flip it. So jewelry, I don't know a lot about, but I do know a lot about watches, guys and girls. So um, careful with the the high end ones, you know, Rolexes and that stuff. I stick to these because they're less likely to be fake. They're easier to tell, and I'm not putting out quite as much money on one item. So something that I uh, I do. I do live by a lot of uh, beaches. I do not hate the beach. I just am not like somebody. I get bored of sitting on the beach for hours and hours. Uh, I do live near quite uh, quite a bunch of uh, beaches, though. Carlos, I've done my homework on a lot of the brands that I know on Tag and Belova and um, and Burberry. I can pretty much tell those watches right off the top. Rolex is a lot harder. Uh, Breitling is kind of hard to tell. Uh, so the higher end ones, I stick away from, and I just buy these ones. The ones that are, you know, a couple hundred bucks. Most people are faking Rolexes or they're faking Breitlings or they're faking Citizens. They're not faking, you know, Burberry and Belova watches. Not typically. Gucci watches are faked. Guest watches, not so much. And they're, they're ones you can make 50 bucks on, 75 bucks. So, yes, the house I'm currently in right now, uh, I purchased almost four years ago and it is from my reselling career. Down payment and everything. My Instagram, my Facebook, and my... Um, Twitter are all at Rockstar Flipper, so you can find those pretty easily. Justin, uh, new subscriber, welcome to the channel. How you doing? Juicy Couture guy ever go ghost hunting? Juicy cute guy ever go ghost hunting? No, I don't go ghost hunting, although I should. I live near some ghost things. If you guys have ever seen Omar Gosh TV, he lives about an hour north of me, and uh, he comes down here in Tampa and goes ghost hunting all the time. XAX LLC, yeah, below the watch, batteries die quickly. They're notorious for it. Change the battery out. Uh, as soon as you change the battery out, list them for sale so they don't die. Thank you, Carlos. Appreciate it. Um, Christina, pawn shops are typically good at catching fake stuff, but don't trust them 100%. Check it yourself as well before you buy it. Um, but for the most part, you won't find too many fake watches at a pawn shop. They do check their stuff really good. Pawn shops make most of their money on jewelry, so they're very careful about bringing in real stuff. Um, they usually check it for real diamonds. They usually check the gold. They'll weigh it. Uh, they know what to look for for the most part, uh, and I have bought many watches at pawn shops, so uh, definitely keep an eye out. I bought a Movado, a gold bangle Movado one from a pawn shop probably a year ago. I paid like 200 bucks for it. I sold it on eBay for 399 It took like two weeks to sell, but after fees and shipping, I made like 150 bucks. So it was a great flip. It is. Reselling is my income. I look like I'm 15. <laughs> I do look young. I, I started to grow this out a little bit, so this is kind of helping. But the hair is, whew, no doubt about it. I do source pawn shops a lot. Pawn shops... Pawn shops always, so somebody is saying pawn shops are ripoffs, pawn shops price stuff high. They do price their items high. The reason is they know everyone is going to talk them down. You can always bring a pawn shop down. Keep that in mind. If this watch is 200 bucks at a pawn shop, there's a pretty good chance they paid like $20 for it. Pawn shops price their stuff like five, 10 times the money. Maybe they paid 40 for it. That means they're selling it for 200 and they're into it for say even 40 or 50 bucks. If you offer like 120, 110, they're not going to let you walk away. They might counter you at 150, 160. You're going to get a deal on this watch. If it's worth 200 on eBay, 250, and you can get it for 100, do it. Like get them down to 1, 110. Definitely. Uh, again, that's bigger. I'm going to do a video about higher profit items that are 50 to 100 bucks. Watches are going to be on that list. So definitely look for that video in the next few days. No problem picking for profit. Just set up his vacation mode, going on the road trip. Drive safe, bud. We'll see you when you get back. I'll check out your videos. Rockstar Flipper, number four pawn shop rule for sourcing. Absolutely. Cameras we use for taking pictures are iPhone 7s, 7 pluses in our case. James Miller, uh, Casey, love your series. Thank you. If you get a store, can you do the free promotions eBay gives? Yes, absolutely. Uh, go to your marketing and then markdown manager. I think you're talking about the store sale promotions. Matthew, I know about the UK car boot or trunk sales. We do not. We have what are called swap meets, and we also have estate sales, which are similar to those. Um, John Lane, fluke 
books are um, good for Amazon. They sell really, really good for Amazon. I don't yet have a gold test kit. Um, the camera that I use for recording my videos, uh, Dave's right, it is a Canon G7X. Oh, God. Dave's going to help Pittsburgh, Mike. Oh, Lord. There are some pawn shops that will look up items on eBay and Amazon and price them accordingly. But remember, the reason you can make deals with pawn shops is because they only sell to a local X square mile, 10 mile, 15, 20 mile square radius. And most of their customers walk or ride bicycles. So it's very unlikely that they can get the same money um, locally that they could get online. But most of them don't do online sales. Believe it or not, you would think pawn shops would just sell stuff on the internet. They don't. They would rather sell the quick item and get cash rather than put it on the internet and wait. So if you can walk in and they can make a buck and still let you make a buck, they'll do it. That's how I'm able to buy from so many pawn shops. Plus, you use your tax certificate, your tax exempt, which I just happen to have in my pocket because I stopped at some um, at a couple of uh, pawn shops today. I didn't get anything really worth mentioning today. But... Um, there it is. I'll zoom up so you guys can see it. 2017 Florida Annual Resale Tax Certificate. That's what it looks like. And it has all your information here and here. And then this just lets you resell. And there it is. This is just some basic information. And that's it. You get to resell with no taxes, buying stuff with no taxes. I sell more video games on Amazon than I do eBay. Absolutely. Most of my electronics are on Amazon. Tax certificate is got through your local state department of revenue. Just Google your state name and then uh, sales tax certificate. Let's see what else you guys got going on tonight. We're going to be on, I'm going to probably be here for like another 10 minutes, give or take, and then I got to get ready to go to this dinner. Uh, birthday dinner for a friend of ours, very good friend of ours. The Tampa Bins better than Orlando. I don't think so. I think the Orlando Bins are better, but the Tampa St. Pete Bins are just closer to me. So, Destiny tried selling some clothes at Plato's Closet and Style Encore. I've heard people do well on that. I've heard people not do so well on that. Um, the stuff that I sell on Amazon is almost always a better price. It's not typically faster than eBay and it's not faster per se in the sale. Sometimes the sales are just as fast. It's faster to get your money through eBay than Amazon. Remember, Amazon only pays every 14 days, um, to standard sellers. Video games are not gated on Amazon. I haven't heard of anyone being gated. There are a certain few games, Pokemon, a um, couple other games that are restricted that even I can't sell. I have to sell those games on uh, on eBay. Not all Pokemon games, just certain ones, like the, the Game Boy Advance ones. Um, absolutely the best to do is uh, is post print your postage from eBay. You get a discount. How much are my bins? Um, the Tampa ones are $1.49. Orlando's $1.09 or $1.19. Uh, same with uh, Bradenton, Sarasota. I think they're like $1.09. And Lakeland's like $1.09. So... Um, that's our prices. How much profit to reinvest back into your business? Stacy? I would say any money that you don't need to pay your bills or live your life, you should be putting to work. Whether you're investing it in reselling or, or whatever it is, whatever business you're putting the money into, I would say if you don't need it, put it back in. There's no set percentage that I put back in. I just take whatever money I need to buy stuff and I know what's left over. I need to pay bills. Uh, run the business overhead, buy materials. You know, I calculate every month how much we're going to spend. And so once I hit that number, whatever's left of that, I will, uh, I'll buy an inventory. Oh, there we go. Orlando just went up to 119. Yeah. So 119 a pound at Orlando and 149 in St. Pete. Brittany, Dylan, when I first started Amazon, how did I learn? Half of it was from YouTube videos and half of it was from uh, Dave that was already selling on Amazon. I was kind of there when he started his account and I learned, but I watched a ton of YouTube videos on Amazon. This was like three to four years ago, so definitely. Um, everybody loves, as far as the best printer, the thermal printers, the Zebra or the Dinos. Um, I use a, also I use a, um, a Brother 7860 for my, a lot of my labels because I just personally like it. Thermal in the long run will save you money, though. 
Christina's here from Orlando. What's up? Uh, Kim Sager. Uh, I use global shipping on all my items. I only sell like maybe three or four items internationally a week out of two or 300 sales. So it, it helps. I mean, it's not a, a huge increase in my sales, but I do sell quite a few items uh, internationally. St. Pete is doing a dollar tomorrow. That's pretty good. Is St. Pete better than Lakeland? I think St. Pete is better than Lakeland. Yes, definitely for hard goods. But Lakeland had some good stuff the other day. I might have just got lucky, but we'll see. Who would I watch on YouTube for good eBay tips and advice? All the people you guys know. Nicole's got a great channel for women's clothing. Uh, Breezy for shoes uh, and books. Uh, you know, in general, you can watch all the other people. Prof Sales, Chris, Steve. Uh, you know, a lot of good people have a lot of good information. So just hunt around. You'll find a ton of good people and a ton of good stuff to watch. Toodles all day. If you get a tax certificate, you are required to collect sales and pay sales tax. That's right. Oh, Salvation Army, that is. Yeah, Salvation Army does a, a dollar uh, tomorrow. Absolutely. Oh, I thought that was on Saturdays. Is it Friday? Blue Gorilla Flipper, how you doing? Our best friend in the post office you just got back from. <laughs> Christina, I'm going to come to the bins next week, and we're going to meet up with Destiny. She's out in Orlando. Brittany Dillon, Logan says hi. Her five-year-old is watching. How you doing, Logan? What's up, buddy? Thanks for watching and watching with your mom. I do ship my ties and my clothes directly into poly bags. I had my first damaged poly bag the other day. It ripped, got something in it, ruined a tie. Uh, it was only like 10 bucks, 9 10 bucks. Guy was completely cool. Uh, going to replace the tie, and uh, he's good to go. No problem. Team Orlando. <laughs> Lots of you guys out in Orlando. Sa Saturday from 8 to 10 at the Salvation Army is $1 a pound. Donald Coy has a great question, everybody. Uh, when should you open an eBay store? I believe you should open it after the first 30 days as quickly as you can once you start getting your listings um, up. The documentary, do I include my business equipment into the pricing of products? Not really. I write that off as a business expense on taxes if I buy a mannequin or lighting. So that's an end of the year deduction. You can't really charge a customer because you needed a mannequin during the year. Plus, let's say you paid 50 bucks for the mannequin and you put 50 cents into every item after that. Well, once you were done, you know, 100 items, you would have paid for it. So I just deduct it at the end of the year. It's pretty easy. Orlando, Chris Sharp's in Orlando too. I'm going to definitely be in Orlando next week. I will let you guys know. Let's plan Tuesday or Wednesday for Orlando. Um, I will update you guys over the weekend which one I'm going to do. For sure. Toodles, yes. Yes, you can do. You can set up eBay and Amazon to collect sales tax for you. Absolutely. So can't wait to get out to Orlando with you guys. Um, a couple last minute um Questions if you guys want to throw them in there. Uh, Brittany's teaching her five-year-old to resell early. That's no, it's never too early. That's awesome. Um, yeah, last minute questions, guys. Of course, the Facebook group, if you guys have questions when I'm not live or if I can't respond to your message or email in the first few hours, go to that Facebook group, post it in the Facebook group, and you will get, you can tag me or tag Megan or tag whoever, and you will get a ton of answers quickly. So many good people in that group. Always, always, always. Diana, always hitting the like button. That's right, guys. If you haven't hit the like button, please smash that like button down in the corner. It means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. Um, thanks to Jet and to Eric. I think it was, uh, let's go up here. Let me see if I can see him. I can't see the, the report for the, uh, for the super chat, but I know Jet and Erica and uh, quite a few other people uh, did some, uh, um, some super chat uh, things. So I'm going to shout them out. I'll put them in the thing um, a little later as well. Shout out from New Jersey, Juan Carlos. What's up, buddy? Uh, still having problems taking good photos with the iPhone 7. Ted, how's your lighting? I always recommend good lighting. Um, yeah, the resellers Facebook groups are such good help. Uh, lots of great info. Majority of them are eBay sellers, but there are quite a few Amazon sellers. And if you're in the Facebook group and you need an Amazon question answered, you can just tag me on it. I do read all the comments pretty quickly. So um, for sure, there are quite a few Amazon sellers that are in there. 
Uh, Miles, I did price packaging through Uline, and if you're willing to buy a huge supply of it, you can get a pretty good deal. I don't usually buy more than like three months. Cole Rain Picker, you're very welcome. Thank you. Kelly, may the sales be with you. I will leave you guys with that. May the sales be with you. That's a great quote. The Facebook group, Victoria, is down in the bottom. It is eBay, Amazon, reseller, thrifting world. Uh, check out the link down in the description below. Uh, printer, uh, use a dynamo or a thermal printer or a brother laser printer. <laughs> Blue Gorilla Flipper, rolling up in the I-8 to the bins. Yeah, some people give me looks, no doubt about it. All right, guys, going to go get ready for dinner. I appreciate everyone being here. Thanks for hanging out for almost an hour. Uh, again, if you have uh, questions and I'm not here, that group is awesome. Um, and we'll see you again tomorrow. I'll have a video up for you guys tomorrow. Go check out uh, uh, Dave's uh, video from today. I'm in it. It's an awesome video. Uh, I'm going to leave you guys with the last thing. It's just going to be a link to that. I'll give you something to go check out if you're working, if you're bored, if you want something to look at. Here is the link to it. Give me just a second. There it is. Thank you, guys. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful night, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Make sure to hit that like button, and adios, amigos and amigas.